Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about coupling dynamics, and the topic for this video is um, rhythm and spontaneity. So, when you are in a relationship, there is something that becomes kind of predictable. This is why sometimes, you know, partners or lovers are going to freak out at the idea of really committing themselves long term, marrying or being a couple. You know, the reason why there might be tension there and, and fear is because you lose track with something that is just an open space of spontaneity, having this, this space where you just do what you want. You wake up in the morning, you are not accountable to anybody else, you just go with the flow. And so when you look at your future, what you see is just an open space of possibility. So when suddenly you are accountable to another person and suddenly there are expectations and you have this coupling vehicle, something happens which is predictability. And this predictability can feel scary and boring. It gives you a sense of security, of course, as well, because then you know exactly what to expect. But at the same time, there is something that in the flow of your life is being killed and destroyed and annihilated, which is precisely the ability to just decide on the spot what you want to do on that day or decide on the spot what you do that, what you want to do that year. So having this open space then, uh, you know, gives you a certain sense of, you know, of possibilities. Um, and so in the idea of having rhythm and spontaneity in your relationship, it means changing, you know, changing directions, being um, in peace and harmony and then shifting to a little bit more challenging space, right? So in this space of spontaneity, what is going to happen is that you have fresh energy coming up. If all you have for the coming months is just a scheduled agenda where you know exactly what is going to happen every single day for the next 30 days or for the next six months, you've got all the weekends booked with family gatherings, with kids' events, with a partner, you know, partner romantic dates, for instance, and so on. It's just the predictability itself kills a certain part of your mind and a certain part of your spontaneous life force, a certain part of your, your wild side that wants just to go with the flow. And then eventually what happens is that you end up kind of bored within these frames that become a little bit too rigid. So the idea is this, the idea is to shift uh, rhythm, to be spontaneous and to add you know, a dimension of different speeds. Think about when you are in an airplane, right? You are traveling at high speed through the sky. Then you're just there, you know, eating your sandwich and having a drink and being like, oh, how good is this flight, you know? But you are not impressed anymore by the speed. Even though it's, it's a powerful experience, you know, you, are, you just want something new to happen. And so when are the moments when there is thrill in your flight is the moment you take off because there is an acceleration, there is a change in speed. And then when the airplane makes a turn, for instance, then you feel that. Or when you're on your motorbike, you know, on the road, then the turns themselves, the moment where you can accelerate or slow down, those are the moments where there is a little bit of thrill added to the experience. So these are the kind of things that you want to bring consciously into your relationship so that basically you don't get bored and not everything becomes predictable.